name is Golan Levin. I'm 29. My name is Scott Gibbons. I'm 32 years old. The piece was called Dial Tones, a telesymphony. A performance which is entirely performed on the mobile phones belonging to the audience. The way it works is that people come to the concert, they give me their phone number into a, a web-based terminal. Depending on the model of the phone, I can download to their phone a new ringtone using SMS, the short messaging service. This is especially popular in Japan and Europe, and less so in the States, but it's possible to actually send someone a new ringtone. They also get a ticket telling them where to sit. Now we have 200 people. We know their phone numbers, we know where they're sitting, and we know what sound they make. My colleague Greg Jakar and I basically had a visual grid. This visual grid had little cells. We would use our mouse to, to click on various cells in the grid that connected to two E1 lines. It's like the European equivalent of T1 lines. These would trigger phone calls. When a phone was rung, it would light up that spot on the grid. Not only were these our visual interfaces, but they were also projected onto the people in the crowd themselves, which means that when a person was ringing, that person lit up. My initial impression was, oh God, this is going to be the most obnoxious thing anybody has ever heard before in their life. People have this love-hate relationship with phones. If one of them rings, you know, then it's like, how dare you, it's such an offense. We wanted to take these sounds and create a new environment where the sound was not obnoxious, where the sound was musical. My staff and I basically composed a set of a couple hundred uh, new sounds, which we then distributed to the audience. We had 200 discrete channels of audio. We could create patterns that moved across the people in waves. There's a kind of random dialing delay that occurs when you actually dial a phone. So we couldn't exactly know precise timing. Some portion of phones, we actually couldn't change the sound. Somebody had the theme song from Dallas on his phone, and it contributed to the way we had to think about composing. The first movement was literally just the 200 phones in the audience playing. People laughed. Oh, it's a cell phone. And then we went into a drone section. And then we also made sounds that sound like bugs. The second part was a solo. I had these six phones patched into a mixing board. Started very simply with me hitting the actual touch tones. I wanted this section to be strong rhythmically because the rest of the composition could not be. I used very short notes to create something like a, a kick bass. Siemens phones sound wonderful when you patch them directly into a, a mixing board. If Siemens made a little mono synthesizer, I would probably buy one. We had a seventh phone that was set on a pedestal and it was set to vibrate. It sounded like something was breaking. The third movement of the piece was actually the soloist and the orchestra together. We finished with a more musical section. The concert was performed on September 2nd at the Ars Electronica Festival in Linz, Austria. We placed 8,000 phone calls in a half an hour. I now know much more about cell phones than I ever, in some sense, wanted to. Part of what I, the point I wanted to make is that these are not just phones. These are also in complete musical synthesizers. The other thing was simply to find out what 200 phones sounded like ringing at the same time. I, to me, this was research. I think in the future, every concert you, you will go to will be performed on the audience's rings. Now, 